Also, the whole concept behind this game with what we got, Ripto coming back with no reason to why he's back or anything, super dumb. Everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part four of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, the most epic game ever released on any console ever. So, I don't know why I'm here. Don't ask me why, I just somehow ended up over here. Um so we're gonna go to Crop Circle Country, and I do believe it's country. I don't know why I said county in the first one. I think because so many people call it county that it just kind of becomes second nature to do that. You guys seem to be really enjoying this playthrough more so than A Hero's Tale. We did finish recording A Hero's Tale. So that's one thing that we are done recording. So no more Hero's Tale. We essentially 100% it and we moved on. I still don't get why there's a loading bar on top of like the loading screen. It's just weird. So after we get Ice Breath, which I don't think is till we go to the level after this, can we actually complete the home world? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Most Spyro games, including A Hero's Tale, for example, have home worlds. This game has home world, and I always click. I'm so used to playing A Hero's Tale, though, that now I have to get back into the habit of using these controls. And also, I got lured into this guy. Howdy, Spyro. Space Rip Talks have arrived from nowhere and have overrun the farm looking for dragonflies. Since they haven't been able to find any, they've been abducting cows and locking them inside the big barn. And I'm afraid I'm next. Don't worry, I'll help you. You will? Golly, thanks. You just need to go around back and unlock the big red barn and rescue them cows. Uh, why are all these cows being abducted just because they're bored and can't find anything? Oh god, there's a bunch of space Riptox. I still want to know why the Spyro games got so keen on Riptox all of a sudden, like... Yeah, by the way, these guys can be notoriously annoying. These little guys, not so much. The big guys, yes. Also, there are sometimes issues in this level where the ground and stuff clips. Oh, actually, I don't think it's the next level that gives me, uh, the ice breath. I think it's the world after. Oh my god, are you gonna tell me how to break vases? Yeah, you just charge them. Also, they have no sound effect when you break them. I believe these guys count as small enemies, too. Oh, come on, you can fire multiple times. Oh my god, the... Are you serious? The camera angle, when you get hit, it spins you around? Um, are you serious? They, they're able to fire off screen and still hit you. Oh my god, this game, man, this game. I thought Hero's Tale was pretty bad with uh, how they do things, but no. My lord, is this game just infinitely worse in, like, every aspect. At least we got health down here. And, oh yeah, it's this button in this game for whatever reason. Oh yeah, by the way, electric breath is necessary for this level. Because technically you can ignore them in other levels, like the power-ups. Wait, what? Get back here, you! The green on green is just obnoxious. Oh my god, let me just grab some of these gems, man. That, that dragonfly is going to be the death of me. Sometimes they just get stuck and are stupid, and other times they're... Hey, it's Akira! Alright, thanks, Akira. I do believe, though, that Electric Breath can break these. No, nope, never mind. It's not like a hero's tail. Well, that's fun. Oh look, more vases, and a life. At least I get that life back that I lost to that stupid Rhinoc. I also don't like the camera, because like, they didn't let you invert the controls back to how they should be. So you get like, a lot of issues with it, you know? I still remember getting this game for the very first time and thinking it was like a great game, but then I'm like... I was so young that 
the same time, I didn't realize that the slowdown was actually just poor game design. Like, if you look at this, it doesn't look technically graphically bad. Like, it looks graphically decent, especially for a very early PS2 game. But it's just the fact that the game itself runs so poorly that it kind of takes away from the whole decent atmosphere of the level. Well, thank you for the gems, but yeah, I don't know. Wait, was that a gem down there? Oh yeah, I forgot. No, it's just a chicken. I keep forgetting, like, now I don't have to use, like, the, the bumpers on the controller anymore to actually do things. I can actually use triangle. Because in a Hero's Tale, triangle doesn't do what it does in any other Spyro game, so that's just a word of advice. Wow, I've... Wait, how come that gold gem was worth 10? I'm so confused. Some of the... I think they just forgot to color some of the pur uh, gold gems purple. Also, you do need to flame all of these. So, oh my god, I keep forgetting. It's not the D-pad anymore. Even though this game had a D-pad, it's not actually how you uh, do anything in this game. Oh yeah, see these little electric poles? Yeah, you're gonna need the... Uh, Electric breath for that, obviously. Oh, I might as well put bubble breath here for that dragonfly that we see taunting us around here. Alright, let's see. It's Mitnick? Hey, it's Mitnick. Ooh, Mitnick. Mitnick's going on a picnic. Mitnick's going on a picnic. Alright, let's see what this guy has so I can get a drink. Hey, you're Spyro, ain't you? Go ahead to meet you. Have you seen any of my cows? <laughs> Alright, um. What he's talking about is you actually have to lure cows back, but I believe you actually have to beat the level to get that. Or to, you know, be able to deal with it. So it looks like we gotta switch back into the electric breath. Actually, hang on. I don't know if I checked around here for everything, did I? I don't remember if I went around everywhere. Maybe I did. Oh, no, I didn't. I knew it seemed a little too good to be true. Trust me, this Spire game is probably the easiest to miss gems, just because of, you know, just how janky it is. It's super bad sometimes. And there we go, that should lower a platform. Yeah, a random UFO platform. That's not even like a UFO. It's just like a flying disc. You guys hear about that balloon that was spotted over Montana? It's supposed to be like a spy balloon. Yeah, that's kind of weird, eh? That they just kind of let it sit up there and didn't take it down yet. Also, why would it be a Chinese spy balloon uh, floating over Montana of all places? It seems kind of weird to me, don't you think? That's just me personally, but... Also, it's weird going back and actually having to collect gems, because in A Hero's Tale there, we we only needed gems for currency, not to, like, you know, for totals of the game. Yeah, see? These... Oh, so that was backwards for whatever reason. A lot of these gold gems are worth 10 instead of 25, so... I guess it's just... It, see, that one was worth 25, though. So I'm confused with how they determine which ones are worth 25 and which ones are worth 10. I really just think that they forgot to color them. They just you reused a model because I guess they were short on time or something and just didn't want to do it properly. Ow. Yeah, you laugh at me. And also, why do enemies in this game drop, like, single red gems a good 80% of the time? Or, if not 100% of the time. I don't know if I've seen an enemy drop anything other than a ruby. It's just ridiculous, you know? Oh, I see that ladder up there. Wait, isn't that just a mini game though? Pretty sure it's just oh, never mind. Uh there we go, we got a free dragonfly. Hey, it's Laurent! How is that pronounced Laurent when it's spelled Laurent, but okay. Yeah, 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 that is a minigame over there. So we're gonna ignore that for right now. Let's Okay, that was weird. It just stopped moving. 
Alright, remember how I said to check back behind these ledges? Yeah, another level that you can kind of get screwed out of gems for. Trust me, I've seen those gems back there. Just gonna destroy these baskets, do not worry. Or I guess it's just a single gem. Not even gems. That's your attack? How come, like, the bigger enemies a lot of time have the worse attacks than the little enemies? Also, I didn't think that hit him, but it did. So I'll take the free hit on him. Free hits are always good. Looks like we got another... I hear, like, a whirlwind or a portal or something. No idea what I'm listening to, but it's... I also hear UFO. I guess that's pretty fun. Funkadelic, bruh. Wait, space cows? Enemies off screen hitting me. Nice. I love when that happens. Wait, are you serious? Are there really two of these things right next to each other? There are two. Yeah, that's a checkpoint, so we'll come back to that later. Let's grab a chicken ear for some help. Thank you for feeding me, Monsieur Chicken. And I guess we'll go back up here. I hate having to switch breaths in this game, because unlike A Hero's Tale, where they were, like, linked to one button, they're not linked to one button in this game. Or, or not linked to one button. They're, it, they're all linked to the same button, so it gets annoying. Is this not going to bring down a UFO? Oh, it is. Oh, look, let's see. That one was worth 25. That one was worth 25, or in this case, it looks like it's supposed to be worth 52, because they couldn't even get the numbers to go the right way. That's kind of sad if you think about it. Yeah, it's kind of sad, though, that these two companies that made this game both went out of business after it, just because of how bad the game actually was. Like, the game is... It was poorly designed. Like, look at how, like, I vibrate when I'm moving. Also, that sound effect that they make when they teleport in... That's actually pretty good. Also, the whole concept behind this game with what we got, Ripto coming back with no reason to why he's back or anything, super dumb. It's like, yeah, we'll have an, uh, we'll have an enemy or a boss spawn back into the game without any reason to how he survived, even though you literally, you know, saw him sink into lava. Maybe he's immune to lava, but they could have said something about that in this game. Instead, nope, they're just like... Yeah, but we just add it in for the random fun of it. It was supposed to have all three bosses from the original Spyro trilogy come back to, like, tag team Spyro so they finally defeat him once and for all. But we didn't even get that, we just got Ripto, and it was just so bad. Oh, it looks like we got another one of those mini games. Yeah, see what I mean about enemies always dropping, um,. Red gems? What was that? Like, do you see that? Yeah, and what I s said about enemies dropping red gems, I swear they all just drop red gems, which is really weird. I feel like all these environmental gems around, but then they couldn't give the enemies more than just red gems. Alright, so we gotta find eight of these. And this time we got like a, a fire bomb attack instead of just a fire ball or flame or flame breath wait what happened to why didn't it destroy these ones that was weird I'm just gonna put the last ones like around here somewhere um where is the last one exactly anyway I actually have no idea. Oh, I hear another portal type thingy up there. Where is the last, this last one? I don't even know. Hey, that's weird. Okay, we got that one over here. I love how they, like, all kind of came back, too, like... 
Sometimes their hitboxes are a little weird, though. Alright, and is there not one over here anywhere? It's so weird. I remember this part being super easy, so where is this last one? So why did you charge when I'm clicking the X button and not any other button? Uh, and then you do whatever that is. Like, where's this last one though, game? Oh, he's right there. I swear I did check that, by the way. Alright, let's see what we got. Tetsu. Hey, it's Testu. It's not Testu. You said Testu. It's clearly spelled Tetsu. Game. Come on. You, you didn't get the actors to read the proper name, or which one's wrong? Was it the way they said it, or was it the the text? Like that just was. That was just bad. That wasn't even funny at that point. That's just sad. Oh wait, I can climb up this. Also, the ladders in this game look way out of place. They look like they're just like painted on. Alright, we got a mini game. I don't like doing the mini games till we do everything in the uh, home like overworld here, because then it just Then you don't have to worry about collecting gems or anything like that. The minigame things never have gems, so you don't have to worry about that. There's generally just a dragonfly or two. Uh, there's no speedway here. There is like a hunter mini game, which I remember being kind of garbage, but whatever. Ow, the end of the level. And let me guess, we didn't get all the gems either, right? Nope, we didn't get all the gems. Hey, Spyro, glad you're here. The doors are jammed. I set some explosives, but don't have any matches. My mama always told me that I should never play with me. Anyway, maybe you can help me with the light? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, are you gonna move your cattle first? Uh, I guess you guys are dying today. I guess I'm dying today. Wait, why did it open inward? And where did the door go? Oh, do I get a dragonfly for talking to you? Hey there, dragon. Thanks for helping out this here farm. Anytime, Farmer Bill. Here, take this thing, legit. I was gonna use it in my new smoker BBQ for flavor. BBQ? Instead of barbecue? Fiona! Hey, it's Fiona! Alright, and by the way, you can actually 100% this level. <laughs> now, the thing is... Wait, I thought, I thought we were opening up this barn, weird, uh, anyways, let's switch to electric breath, you gotta shoot these things, which will then knock these UFOs out of the sky, where's it going, oh, I guess it's just, I guess it's just leaving, huh? Oh god, you can tell, like, can feel and hear the slowdown right there. So for this one, you want to bring these back to him. And once they're laying around him, you're good to go. Also, these are some ugly Earthworm Jim looking graphical cows going on here. Are you sure this isn't like an N64 game? Man, some of these graphics, dude. Why I keep doing that? Like I said, it's because I was playing a hero's tale, so the controls are literally reversed of how they're supposed to be. Alright, now I gotta flame you, or I guess in this case, electrocute your butt. That should put some pep in his step, right? Alright, you should be good. Now I know some of them aren't actually where they're supposed to be, because watch, if we bring this one over, he's probably going to say, there's still a few more cows missing, because they have to be the ones that lay down. 
So for example, this one here isn't laying down, nor is this one. And that's how you do it. <coughs> Thanks for freeing the cow. You think you can go get him and move him back here? Way to go, Sparrow! We'll make a farmer out of you yet. By the way, while you were out looking for the cow, I found this here critter and I think it may belong to you. Alright, thanks, Farmer Dean. Hey, it's Cedric. Cedric the Entertainer. Alright, that's pretty cool. So, we'll shoot this thing again, which you have to watch every single time. God, the graphics on that are just so weird. Also, we're still missing some of the uh, scarecrows around here, so... Why did I do that? Ow, and then I just elbowed, elbowed the table I have my laptop sitting on. That's fun. And before any of you judge, yes, it's a gaming laptop. Yes, I can play games like World of Warcraft fine on it. It's just, uh, you know... That's all I could afford at the time. And it actually took me two full paychecks to get it. I guess it's not a cheap computer either. But then again, I also wasn't making, like, a lot of money at the time. I, I am sad, though, that I don't see... That I can't find work right now, because... Man, I miss being able to do things. Like, I want to get my own apartment again. Sure, it's lonely, but... At least you feel accomplished, you know? It's just a nice feeling. And like I said, we'll, or I didn't. I guess I didn't say it, but like I usually do, we'll probably do the mini games in the uh, second video. A lot of these levels take a long time. Monkey Monastery might be the only one we can actually 100% in one video. All right, I know we're still missing some of the scarecrows though around here. Oh, also one random green gem. Also, what are we? Looking for a, uh, um, we're already 26% done the game. We're missing 10 gems and four dragonflies, two of them, two of which are in one mini game, one of them in another mini game, and I think the other one's for destroying the UFO, right? We got Free the Cow, Super Flame Challenge, Cow Herding, Upon the Broken Bridge, On the Loose, and In the Pastures. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's a thing, I guess. Maybe there isn't one for destroying all the scarecrows. Also, Zoe spawns in really late. Did you see that? I was like already passing her when she spawned in. Because I'm pretty sure there's one for this. And then we hear the two mini games. But as for where the last gem is, that's a little bit concerning. Because it's either two blue gems or one gold gem. And this should be the final one for this, right? And there's that mini game right there that we can do, which is going to be super cool. Oh. Is that the final time that we have to hit that though? Did that spawn in a dragonfly yet? Oh god. The is there a way to change the camera? I guess we'll just turn it to that, right? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Oh, there it is. Alright, so we got this one. Hey, it's Flavi. Flavi, Flav. Alright, that chicken's doing the, the moonwalk kind of thing, I guess. Oh, I missed that gem, really? Yeah, see, that one's back to being worth the uh, normal amount. And boom! Oh god, the slowdown on that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications in the next episode. We will be doing the mini games here. Also, if you guys want to join the Patreon and Discord, link in the description below. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.